today we will discuss on chapter 3.2 Conservation of the Linear Momentum for Two Dimension So question number 5 A tennis ball of the mass M1 moving with the initial velocity U1 collides with a, a soccer ball with the mass of M2 initially at rest Okay, so initially our M2 is at rest, it's not moving so after the collision, the tennis ball is deflected 50 degrees from its initial direction with the velocity of V1. Okay, so your M1 is moving downward with the direction 50 degrees below the positive X exit. Okay, suppose that M1 is given 250 grams, so please convert into kg. M2 is 900 grams. U1 is 20 meter per second, V1 is 4 meter per second. So they ask you to calculate the magnitude and the directions of the ball after the collision. Okay, so this collision meaning that we need to use conservation of momentum to find. Okay, so for this question, it looks a little bit uh, different because it involves 2D, meaning that it is not only involves X component, it also involves Y component. Okay, so before the collision, our M1 is equal to 0.25 gram and it is moving with 20 meter per second. Okay, M2 is given 0.9 kg and our U is equal to 0. Okay, after the collision, M1 is moving with the velocity V1 equal to 4 meter per second. So we want to find what is the directions and the magnitude of ball okay we label it as b okay so what should we do is we need to resolve it into x and y component in order to find the resultant the resultant uh the resultant velocity so we need to use five steps because this is involved two dimension so first step is we need to find x component and then second step is you must find the resultant for y component after that step 3 you need to find the magnitude and step 4 you need to find the direction and finally we need to determine at which quadrant okay so we go to step number one p initial equals to p final okay so we can we must resolve it into x component first okay so m1 u1 x plus M2 U2 for X component equals to M1 V1 X component plus M2 V2 for X component M1 is equals to 0 0.25 we change it to kg U1 is equal to 20 Okay, M2 is 0 0.9 But U2 for the soccer ball is actually is at rest initially So we substitute 0 Equals to After the collision Your M1 is moving 50 degree below the positive X exit So we can resolve it into X and also Y component okay V1X and also V1Y component so we need to substitute okay by using the trigo where our V1X is equal to for the magnitude cos because it's adjacent 50 degree okay plus 0 0.9 is the mass for M2 V2 for X component Okay, so if you press calculator you will get V2 for X component is equal to 4.84 meter per second Okay, step 2 is we need to find Y component Again, we use back the equation M1, V1 M1 U1, M2 U2 equals to M1 V1 plus M2 V2 But now, everything we must consider Y component Okay, so before that, 
the initial before the collision M1 is only moved to the right okay only moved to the right meaning that initially there's no Y component for M1 and also for M2 initially is at rest so similar there's no momentum for the initial ball for M2 and after the collision your M1 the ball one is moving downward okay so it goes to M is 0 0.25 okay then we need to we need to derive a uh, resolve it into y component is opposite so we write as 4 sine 50 and because it's downward so we must put negative okay negative indicate that it is moving downward the direction is downward plus 0 0.9 for ball 2 we don't know where is the direction so we just okay we don't know what is the direction so we just put v2 but y component okay so if you press calculator v2 for y component you will get 0 0.851 meter per second okay so now you already obtain x component and also y component Step 3 is you must use theorem Pythagoras to find the magnitude. Okay, so our V2 okay, is equal to V2 x component square plus V2 y component. Okay, sorry. Okay, y component square. Okay, and then square root. So you substitute inside 4.84 square plus 0.851 square and then we square root. Okay, so finally you will get the magnitude is equal to 4.91 meter per second. Step number four, you need to find the directions. Okay, so direction, tangent, theta, okay, equals to Vy over Vx and we modulus. Okay, so if you press calculator, you will get our tangent theta, the angle theta is equals to, is equals to 9.5. 97 degree okay so next let us determine at which quadrant because 9.97 is only the the at the basic angle okay so the direction we must base on x component so x component you have positive so it's to the right your y component also you get positive so it is in um positive okay it's moving upward okay so finally our angle is between okay it's at the first quadrant okay so this is the answer where we can write the magnitude is 4.91 meter per second at the angle of 9.97 degree above the positive x exit this is questions number five Okay, another question for the conservation of the momentum for two dimension okay, is question number 6. So a ball moving with the speed of 17 meter per second strikes an identical ball that is initially at rest. Okay, so meaning that initially our V1 is 17, our V2, our, okay, actually this is U, U1. Okay, our U2 initially is at rest. Okay, so after the collision, after the collision, the incoming ball has been diverted into 45 degree from its original and the strikes ball moved 30 degree from the original directions. Okay, so one going downward, 45, and another one, ball two, is moving up with 30 degree above the x-axis. Okay, calculate the 
feet of each ball after the collision. So this is the, uh, we can use the conservations of momentum to find V1 and also V2. Okay, and because this is involved 2D, so we need to resolve it into two components. Okay, we can resolve it into x component first. Okay, so for x component, P1 equals to P2. Okay, meaning that our M1, U1 for x component. Okay, for x component plus M2. U2 for X component is equal to M1 V1 X component plus M2 V2 for X component. Okay, so M1 initially is moving to the right. Okay, so our ball is identical. Okay, identical meaning that we assume that M1 and M2 are the same. So we just put M. Okay, initially move with 17 to the right. So it's, we put 17 positive. And M2 initially is at rest. So we just substitute uh, 0. Okay, after the collision, M1 is moving downward at the 45 degree. Okay, so this one we can resolve it into right and downward. Okay, so we resolve it into X component, we will get V1 cos 45. Okay, and then M2, we just put M because all are identical. V2 is to the right and moving upward. Okay. So our V2 cos 30 degree. Okay, so all M, 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 we can cancel each other because they are identical. So finally, we will get 0 0.707. Plus zero point eight six eight six six V two okay equals to seventeen. This is our first equation. Okay, where we have two unknown V one and also V two. Okay, so we need another equation Y component. In order to find V1 and also V2, uh, later we can do it simultaneously. So now we go to find Y component. Okay, so Y component, before the collision, there's no Y component for ball 1 and also ball 2. Ball 1 only X component uh, because it's only go to the right. And ball 2, of course, no velocity because it's not moving. Okay, so initially it's 0 for, y, for mass 1, 0 for ball 2. Okay, after the collision, ball 1 is moving downward. Okay, so downward we must put negative. Eh? Okay, so this is M. We must put negative because it is after the collision it is moving downward. So we write as negative V1 sine because it's opposite. 45 and our V2 is 2 upward. Okay, so our V2 M upward, so it's positive. V2 sine 30 degree. Okay, so we will get uh, our V. Okay, letter M, M you can see. So you will get V2 will equal to 1.414 V1. Okay, so this is equation number 2. Again, equation 2, we also have two, two unknown V1 and V2. So we substitute V2 into the first equation. 
Okay, so we substitute V2 into the first equation. Okay, so this one you substitute into our first equation. So we substitute equation 2. Okay, so we substitute equation 2 into equation number 1. Okay, so you will get 0 0.707 V1 plus 0 0.866 V2 we substitute we convert it into we substitute it 1.414 414 V1 Okay, and it's equal to 17. Okay, so finally, you will get your first value V1 equals to 8.8 .8 meter per second. Okay, meter per second. And then, you substitute back either equation 1 or equation 2. Okay, so you will get V2... Okay, we substitute into equation 1 or 2 also can. Okay, so I substitute into equation number 2, 1.414 V1, I substitute into 8.8. Okay, 8.8. So finally, V2, I will get 12.4. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. In our next video, we will go to chapter number 4. Thank you. See you.